Hey guys, it is Monday, December 27th. This is going to be the last weekly message from Spirit for 2021. And if you have been with me this whole year, every week Spirit has given, what is that, 52 messages. Spirit literally held our hands through this whole year. So where are you? How has 2021, the year of receiving, impacted you? Where have you seen the most growth? Where have you experienced your most fear? What frightens you? Being alone, not succeeding, the fear of succeeding, the fear of failing, the fear of being in charge in a way you've never been before. What has the year of receiving inspired you to know? The message for this week is coming up right after this little Get to like, share, and subscribe and jingle that bell. You know I like my bells jingle. Okay, guys. So this week is all about presents. <gasps> Not the wrapped kind with the bows, uh, but presents. Your presents. And Spirit says... You cannot hear me when you are elsewhere. You can't hear me. You can't download the data. You can't access the good info. You can't get the support. You can't receive the goodness if you're not present. It's one thing to receive. It's another thing to receive with presence. In presence can only be your gratitude. Gratitude isn't something you just have in the moment when you say thank you. Gratitude is something that you milk because it feels good. It's like, I'm so grateful for this. This is amazing. This really is amazing. This is amazing. I manifested this. This is okay. And you have to understand, we don't only receive the good, we receive the challenging. So even in the challenging, stop and be present. So many of the bad things allow you to be better. In fact, you couldn't have been present today without all of the things that have happened for you. What are you going to do with it all? We may not like the things that unfold around us, but we have to understand that we are part of a bigger picture, a bigger necessity. As we move forward into 2022, you are going to see a huge separation. Spirit calls this unbubbling. In the beginning of this year, Spirit said, oh yeah, there's going to be so many realities. I'm like, wait a minute. You know, I always go, where's that voice coming from? Uh, What do you mean realities? Well, your reality, your reality. I said, how many realities? Well, as many as there are living beings. And we're unbubbling because it's important for us to be in our own reality the good, the bad, the ugly, to face it, receive it, shift it, grow from it, with it. You will not stay where you once were ever. In fact, today, those of you hearing this, seeing this, and receiving this, you're changed. But you have to understand, if you are not present within the transformation of you, Your thoughts, your ideas, your choices, your feelings, your wants and desires and keeping those priority. If you're not present in all of that, I say to you, how many lifetimes are you going to come here and do this? It's exhausting life, baby. Greedy is good, but greedy with gratitude. Like, I want this.
this muffin. It's the last one. Do you want it? Would you like it? No? I'm gonna have it. And I love it. I really wanted this muffin. Allow yourself to be present in the receiving. Because so much of our receiving, especially this year, is already past tense. Which means we can't go back and milk it again. So, as we move into 2022, which Spirit says is the year of war, so many of you go, oh no, and Spirit says, why are you worried? I'm not worried. We have been at war within the self, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. So many of us are still waiting for someone out there to fix us, save us, flip us. I uh, can't be happy till that person walks away. And then God says, oh, ye light, baby. The year of war has so much more to do with you and your willingness to receive in the presence that is light, love, truth, and peace. And we do not do that. So next year, we're, we're gifted a whole year where we can practice being present in our receiving, in gratitude, in presence, instead of in war, in resistance, in fighting. Do you know how many of you have already fought your own well-being? And it's 1.33 my time central. We have fought our own well-being about 50 times, 50, 100 times since we woke up this morning and now spirit says good i got your attention i've got your attention for the rest of this week and for your new year's celebrations be present don't think resolutions think routines what are your routines and i'm not talking brushing your teeth every day where are you spiritually not religiously what do you do mentally, physically, spiritually? What are your routines, your patterns? Are these routines you're proud of? Are these routines that we need to soften a little, change, change up? Do we need a whole new routine? The year of receiving is the jumping point, the foundation for the rest of our lives. The rest of our lives, plural. So please, old soul, get it. Get it. Get it. Old soul. Get it. You came here to get it. Get it. Get what? I don't have the money. Get it. You can't get the money if you're not in the present moment. Present. Able to fully receive. Okay, guys, I'm going to thank you for being with me this whole year. I have grown in so many ways, but mostly in defining who I am and the boundary between me and everybody else. That's not easy to do with gratitude, and I've done it. It's a practice. We are rolling into new territory again next year. I will tell you on the back end, there are going to be a lot of individuals that don't want to receive. They don't like doing it comfortably. They don't like to be without pushing and fighting. We don't know how to do that. So as that unfolds next year, please get out of the way. Every single being has a direct relationship. I feel like the funds has a direct relationship with their source. They have their own guides. And if they're flipping you off, chances are they're flipping source off too. Get out of their lessons, get present in yours. And the biggest lesson of all for the last week of this year of receiving is to get in gratitude and get it good. You will need to be grateful as we move into the year of war. Remember that. Side, side note, PS, P, P, S, S, S. You will need to rely on your abilities moving forward if you want to thrive. That's not a warning. That is a message directly from the big cheese. The big cheese. We've been playing with our abilities. I'm psychic. So what? I'm psychic. Do you use it? 
for your greater good. That's a that's a game changer. So in order for you to thrive in the year of war, you're gonna need to rely on your abilities in here, in your space, in your presence with your source. I mean, guys, what else is there? What else is there? And please look uh, up. Please watch the movie Don't Look Up on Netflix. Amazing. So amazing. Okay, I'm going to go into the extended message. Super excited. Lots of stuff going on this week. I'm having a huge New Year's party with just myself and Braxton and the cats. And I'm going to wear a fancy dress. I really am. I ordered it. So, you know, you got to make what, where you are what you want. It's B. But they're not in a good mood. Why are they in your present moment? Life is what we make of it. Not what others make of it for us. Okay, I have to roll. I will see y'all in the extended message.